Hey guys, Sorak here, and I'm going to do a, a little video here for tips and tricks on Graveyard Keeper. Things that I've noticed that, if I knew them sooner, would help out immensely. So, we're going to get started with some basic stuff. The graveyard is, is the first thing you really should focus on, as far as cleaning stuff up. You'll see you'll have broken stones and everything. At the very beginning, you get repair tools out of this chest. So... Try to prioritize bodies that have more white skulls than red skulls. So the higher the bodies, the better off you are. Like this has four whites and, and two reds. So this being a wood marker, I should repair this. That or replace it. That way you can have a higher grave, uh, graveyard quality. Now, usually you get a quest from Yorg in the very beginning after your first rest this ghost dude he says that the guy in the bottom right hand corner is annoying and gives you an exhumation order if your guy in the corner looks like this do not exhume his body the reason I say that because once you exhume this body you have five white skulls the quality of this grave is amazing so you don't want to have it you know messed up instead exhume the body that lies right here this one had, I believe, two reds and a, one white. So take out the body and then just do what York wants. It'll still count for your quest and you'll get the cutscene afterwards. All you do is take the body over here, stand still, and press E to throw the body into the river. The skull will go into all the details about the river, etc. But that's that. As you can see, I have in my technologies a lot of green points. Now the green points, when you first unlock the graveyard, there's a bunch of brush here. Clearing this brush will give you about 100 green points right off the bat. I've literally cleaned everything, so I can't show you, unfortunately. Uh, maybe I can. What's that? Nope, it's a tree. It's a tree. So for green points, that's where you go. If you want, if you need green and red points, like say I have only 25 and only 96, say if I had zero, these bushes right here, the dead bushes, after clearing them, gives you one red and one green point. Those bushes should be your priority early game. I just had a body come up, so this is perfect timing. Whenever you have a body ring, like, there's a bell that rings. You want to have the body on the autopsy table immediately. When the, while the body is on the autopsy table, it does not decompose. It does not lose percentage. Now, I've unlocked a couple different body parts. Let me uh, come to the technologies. Your first slice is what you'll have automatically. Soft spars, when you remove blood and fat, will add a white skull to the quality of the body. As with hard spars, will add a red skull and will lower the quality of the body. If you want to go full ham on it, farm everything out of there, sell what you can, and then, you know, throw the body in the river. At least until you get the crematorium open. But you see how this only has two white skulls. So we're going to go extract blood. And then we're going to extract fat. If only it was this easy. Now I made a surgeon, surgical arrow, so I only have three white skulls. At this point, it's only three... I want to have four skulls or more to make it worth burying. So I'm going to go ahead and just extract everything else while I can. You see that taking flesh out took away a skull. So that's technically considered a red skull. Speaking of skulls, you're going to need a skull for the astronomer. So you're going to have to have a body that you can throw away, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and extract the bone. I don't think I'm going to have enough energy for everything else. If you don't have enough energy to finish the body, it's okay. The body will still count on your one of one, and it'll still sit there. There's, it's not going to decompose. It's not going to get up and run away. You like that? Forty-one iron bars. <laughs> but it won't get up. It won't go away. So then you just sleep. So with me sleeping, it'll get my energy back, which is in the top corner here. And then it'll make things a lot easier for you to do. Because now you can continue on. 
the biggest thing that was not told to me was that this game does not auto save unless you sleep in the bed at any point so you can sit here for three in-game days get all this stuff cleaned out clear the body etc etc but until you fall asleep it does not save your progress so make sure you sleep every night we're going to extract the skin again it's just going to be more money down the road and further stuff so I got the skin so we'll go to character got blood bone fat flesh skin and skull even if you have a surgical like a surgeon's mistake you still get the item all it does is reduce the quality so now you just take the body at this point you have three options for the body down below straight below the morgue here you'll see a blueprint this is for the crematorium the way you unlock the crematorium is in technologies go to theology and it's cremation which is right here so that gives you the blueprint now if you notice there's blue technology points there meaning you cannot unlock the crematorium until the church is opened and until you study at the study table so for now it being this early in the game where I haven't unlocked the crema uh, crematorium you only have two options you can either bury the body or drop the body down the river burying the body gives you a burial certificate which you can make money off of but again what we want to worry about is the quality up in the top right hand corner since I did the full markup on this body it, it ha now has three red skulls which makes it pointless for me to throw in there because I'm just going to make my quality go down three points so you just throw the body in the river and that'll protect your overall quality one of the best things you can do is buff this one so what we're going to do while I have this up is remove this cross it does do work but it's fine remove this fence alright so we'll leave that there okay let me throw the bodies in the, in the trunk up here the body parts do, 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 do. alright let's grab these items real quick so I got stone cross and stone gray fence put the cross there now give this a little boosty boo and then we'll throw the fence up now when you add three quality to the grave you can only add quality up to a point that the skulls are there if you have more quality than you have skulls it will not count you have to balance that out so you see how it has three spaces because there's three skulls that don't have the quality next to it this is gonna work perfectly so we go ahead and do that and now I have a five quality grave well, this is still negative three here. It's negative three because with no quality there, the red skulls cancel out the quality at this point. So the next chance I get, I'm gonna have to exhume the body, which you can only exhume the body after you get the church opened. The way you open the church is by increasing your quality up to five or higher. One nice thing you can also do is add grave sites and as long as you don't dig them up you'll never get charged for them see how I put it down and there's no quality if you dig it up like this it will have a negative two quality so it's a lot of stuff to keep in mind it's a lot of technical stuff but once you get a grasp of body quality how to increase the quality and how to decrease quality as well as how to make things that will boost the quality you'll be better off now speaking of things that can boost the quality you have the simple gravestones which is the wooden cross and wood gray fence and the gravestone that you can learn right here once you unlock the church and you can study you have the stone gravestones which is a lot better obviously and then you have carved gravestones, which are even better on. And it just keeps on going from there. 
you know, it just gets better and better and better. But for now, we've got the simple gravestones. So what we can do is we can add wooden markers, just need nails, and I can add one quality to there. Or, see if I can find it. It might be the furnace. Oh, no, here it is. At the carpenter's workbench, I can add a two-quality wooden cross and a one-quality fence. Now, seeing as that's the only fence I have at the moment, I, I really have no choice. Now, one thing I need to do is get the stone cutter. So, let me go ahead and make some nails. And now, with nails in hand, I can add the stone cutter. And we can look at another option that we have. Uh, by the way, you can hit R to rotate. It doesn't do much good if it can't go up and down like the bench there. But you can control where you can get, get an angle on it from. Alrighty, so there we go. And now we have gravestones unlocked. So at this point, there, I'm going to show you another trick that involves the gravesides in the graveyard. Something that some people won't catch on, and again, something that I wish that I caught on to a lot sooner. You're not going to be able to exhume most of these bodies yet, so you're kind of screwed on that. The fact that I took this body out leaves me in, in a hole. But you just see the wooden marker, it, it adds only 0.4 of 1. It's a damaged wooden marker, and it's not worth keeping there. This is a five skull body. So what I want to do is remove it. So now that we remove that, we just got to take inventory. This is a three skull, so you're going to need five quality. The wooden gray fence is destroyed. So I can either make the repair kit, or I can just make a new one. I'm going to make a new one. And again, same thing. Instead of spending two repair kits, I'll just take that out. Do I have anything for energy? Mm, nope, I don't. Darn, I was carrying honey. Forgot all about it. My bad. So, take a quick break. Now, as long as your bodies are zero of one, every morning the donkey will bring you a body. So, every morning in game, whenever you see the sunrise coming above the steeple there, you might hear the bell. That'll be the bell to go pick up the dead. That bell is a bell that you do not want to ignore. Because the longer you ignore it, the worse quality the body gets. And after I think about 5 or 10%, you start to lose overall quality. So it could be a, a 6 quality body, but if you let it sit there for too long, you'll start getting green skulls. And green skulls kill the quality and cannot be made up. There's nobody here yet. So what we'll do is we'll continue over in the graveyard and see if we can clean this up. Alright, got that. Let's see what this grave has. So I need to increase the quality. I can't do much, sadly. Because the stone is the only thing I can really add to it. But this is going to have to stay at one quality. If it was up to me, I would exhume the body once I had the option to, take it to the morgue, take out blood and fat to try to increase the white skulls to five white skulls, and then get better equipment once it became available in technologies. This gravestone is amazing for this. So there's four white skulls, two red skulls. So I'm going to keep the gravestone there and just try to fix it. And just take off the fence. Now, I, I was saying fixing the skull, the fixing it. So what we're gonna have to do is, if you go to building, you see a stone working has the stone repair kit. It's right here on the skill tree. Just boom, boom, boom. Actually, boom, boom. Really, my bad. And then you have woodworking, which has a wood repair kit. The stone repair kit is not cheap to make. So actually, I'm gonna. I'm going to go back on what I said. 
because it is a pain. <laughs> now I'll explain why in another video. What I'm basically going to be doing is showing you tips and tricks for every section, if possible. Uh, yeah, I, I might not have a choice with that fence, sadly. And then what you want to do, for now I'm going to store it there. And then I'll see what I can add, what I can't add, what I can repair, and what I can't repair. But by looking at this, I can also see the quality of bodies. So that's only a plus one and damaged. That's damaged. I got trees all around, so I'm not afraid to take this stuff off. These are 100%, so I'm not going to worry about them. This gravestone needs help, and the stone fence needs help. It's only a, a two. Oh my goodness. I'd have to repair both of them just to get any kind of plus out of this. Worst case scenario, I would have to, uh, I'd have to try to break even on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stone fence off. If I'm going to break zero anyways with stone, I'll just add wood. Break even that way. Make that work out. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be repaired. A lot of stuff that can be tossed out. Like, the wood marker can be tossed out. Okay, it's only a plus one. We want something that's more than a plus one. The wooden grave fences, we can't do much about at the moment. Because of the technologies. That's all we can make is wooden grave fences. Once we unlock the church, we can upgrade to the stone grave fences and add an extra quality point. But at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and focus on repairing them. So now with all these, you can see where the, your worst bodies are lying. So right here, it's a bad body. Right here, bad body. Got the minus twos and the minus ones. This is an excellent body. So we want to get this grave handled first. So you notice, since removing all that, I've only lost one quality point. So here's what we do. <laughs> I should have taken account first. Four, five, six, seven. We'll say that there's eight graves that still haven't been touched. So what we'll do is we'll actually make a couple... Hi. I, I love having this. I'll explain this setup here in the next video. Because it, it's really great what I did and what I figured out. So here we go. These old wooden markers, instead of just destroying them, you can turn them into firewood. So, we'll do just that. We also get red points because it's a crafting. So... There we go. We turned an old, broken piece of equipment, added more technology points, and got firewood for it. Now, I'm going to do so the firewood in here, because I kind of need it in here. And now I have 240 fire in the oven. One thing you have as an option, when you first go down to the cellar, you'll have bags and broken barrels here. Clear them out ASAP. I did not do this. And I'm sitting here making, you know, simple iron, making nails, making fitches. And I was, once I came down here and cleared it out, I got all these items for free. It's a bit random what you do receive, but you do receive stuff. This area down here, at this point, it only has the trunk as an option. I don't know if there's other things you can unlock. But even then, this would be a hell of a storage area. So, something to think about. This down here also, I can clear a path if I wanted to. That snake down here. It was a hell of a time trying to figure out who this was. But this guy, Snake, is trying to get into the little secret chamber there. Which I'll go into more detail about the NPCs and whatnot again in another video. I do plan on making a long series of helpful tutorials and things that I'm finding out that I want to tell you guys as I'm finding them out. So, with that being said, let's look at our options again. So the wooden cross adds two, so that's cool. And the gravestone adds two, but I have a lot of stone here. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna make eight of these. And it's gonna be really expensive on energy. As you can see. That's where this is gonna come in. What I did is I turned all the flour into dough. By the way, if you shift and left click, you can drag entire sets of items into your inventory. And then what I'm gonna do here is turn that dough into bread. It is gonna take some time, but seeing as I'm not doing much anyways, ta-da. Go ahead and sleep and get some more energy, and then we'll continue on with the gravestone making. Again, the only thing I can make at this point is wooden fence, but if I make gravestones out of stone, I can save the wood that I would have used on the wooden crosses and use them for the wooden fences instead. So some time passed, so now I got some bread. So we'll go to character, drag the bread down here. Only if certain items can be dragged down, there's some things you just cannot do. Food items that have an effect can be dragged down. So we just drag it down there. We'll go on down. So now we'll go ahead and finish these up. Now that we have food to help support it as well. And just look at the red that I'm getting for this. It's five points per tombstone head. By the way, you can eat while you're crafting. I don't know how that works exactly, because you you special to be able to eat and do that at the same time. But it does happen. So what I'm gonna do for the time being is drop these in here. I should have thrown the water back in over here. Oh. Thank you. Perfect timing actually. I appreciate that. Because what happens is that even if you're right here, just because I don't have it in my inventory, it still pulls from your local storage. So even if I don't have any iron on me whatsoever, I can still make these items because they're in local storage. I can still make the firewood and wooden wedges because it's in my little chest that's right here within the same crafting area. That being said, you can't be making stuff here and pull things from the chest from the quarry. So you gotta keep in mind what you have stored and where you have it stored. Which reminds me, you pull that shit out. Oh, and I have extra honey. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, uh, gotta walk away from that first. All right, so now we got bread and honey down here. Honey is good because it gives you three, uh, three uh, health and 15 stamina. And bread gives you the 12 stamina, so we'll have enough to finish this now. So we'll go ahead and eat the honey and, and continue on. And you can just see my energy up here. All I'm doing is eating while it's working. So I didn't have enough to finish it, sadly, but not bad. You can either leave these down here, or if you want to take them off the hot bar, just left click, hold, and drag. Ooh. This bread is very helpful, actually. <laughs> this is very good timing on the bread. The bread is quick to make, though, so that's why it's nice. All right, so I should be able to finish this now, and boom, like that. Now we have 82 red research points. That's nice. That's weird. The donkey didn't drop anything off today. Huh. I thought it was a daily basis, but I guess I might be wrong on that. Yeah, they will. So what I want to do is give priority to the ones that will give me the best quality. So add... Ah, flip. Ah, this game... I'm, I'm going to add everything good and everything bad about this game video eventually too. Because there's a lot of things that are really good about it. And there's a lot of things that are really bad about it. But hopefully I can point these out. The developer uh, might see it. And maybe he can add things and change things. Or they can. My bad. And they, they can change things and make it more user-friendly and make it that better game. There is a rumor that it, you do gain energy faster at night. I haven't confirmed it because it doesn't seem to work like that. Because the ticks on the energy are roughly the same. Or at least at the same intervals. Alright, now we got more bread. I keep removing the bread and then I keep getting more bread. All right, some more iron. So. 
I, I can go to see the Inquisitor right now, but I'm not worried about the Inquisitor, honestly. Ooh, thank you. Throw those in there for now. While I'm over in the graveyard, I'm going to throw the blood, the flesh, and the whatnot over there. Yeah. I wonder why the donkey is stopping by. Usually the donkey stops by as long as you don't have a body. That That is starting to bug me. All right, so we'll go ahead and finish increasing our quality. So that's plus two, now it's a positive one. This is gonna break even, but it also take away the detriment on it, so. But boom, now it's broken even. Take this plus one. Now this is a body I would exhume, just cause it's one red, one white, it is not useful at all. But again, for the for the time being and for the purposes of this, I have to try to style it up just so I can add quality. They give me plus two, so I'm at negative six now, and I've only touched a couple graves. One of the better bodies here. Go ahead and again. Ba boom. Plus two. I don't really like this body much, but again, can't do much, so we'll just make it look pretty for the time being. No gravestone. Well, we'll fix that. But boom. Take this gravestone. Now I'm, po I'm positive too. And again, this is just stuff that I wish I knew sooner. Like, I wish I knew this stuff. Because changing all the headstones to stone has brought me from a negative 11 to a positive 4. Just on how I have placed things. There's a lot of zero quality graves, and that's because... The plus two from the gravestone and the two red skulls cancel each other out. It's like having a positive two and a negative two. All right, so I got a lot of flesh. I just need that stamp. The wooden grave fences. Again, I can't do much with the stone grave fences because you need clay, which you have to unlock at the marble quarry, at the marble section of the quarry. So I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. No, it's on the other. Okay. Just want to see why the donkey wasn't dropping anything off. If I had like a glitch or a body or something was going on. Oh well. Let's see. Now I can turn these fences into firewood. Or. Oh, there's wood markers. Thank you, donkey. And that was the sound of a body. So, again, stop what I'm doing. Donkey just dropped off the body. It's 100% right now. So we're going to go take care of it. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and take the blood. We're going to try to get a four-star body. Okay, I made a surgical error, but that's fine. Take the fat out. See if we can get at least a three-skull body. Nope. Not doing a three skull. See, that's a negative two. The body is one red skull, two white skulls. So, I hate being picky, but the body has to go. Oh, you want to increase the quality as best you can in the graveyard. So, that's what we have to focus on, and that's what's going to have to be done. I could easily throw that in there, add a, add a head to the stone, and call it done. But I don't want to do that. You can see we have the stone repair kit. It requires clay. Now, let's see. We have the wooden marker, wooden cross. Here's a wood repair kits. It's not too expensive. It's a fitch, a wooden plank, and nails. The Fitch is is right here at sawing, so it's the next one up. The wooden plank is at woodworking here. The nails themselves are under the smithing tab in our primitive forging. So I will unlock advanced forging, maybe tools in a second here. Right now, I'm just trying to take care of that graveyard because, again, that's what's going to be the main table of this game. You are the graveyard keeper. So... 
That being said, how much do we have? We technically have eight spots. But in our inventory, we have, what, three broken fences. So we'll make one set of repairs. I forgot I had bread on my inventory. I just looked down there. And then, ah, from there, that's going to take up three. So we need five of these, which means we need three more wooden planks. Let's go ahead and knock these out. And now we can go ahead and go back, get the gray fences. Whew. So it's plus two for the wood, looks like. So that still ain't bad. I know there's more bread just waiting for me in here. Yep, another 12. Not bad. So we'll go ahead and finish these up. We'll try to stick them on. Now the bishop comes around every time the little purple symbol here, the little purple sun. That's the bishop's calling card basically so in the known NPCs menu you have snake which is just a green one miss charm which is the red one and bishop which is a purple one the other three NPCs I haven't unlocked it I will when time comes so on the purple day the bishop will show back up to the graveyard that's when you can impress him with how great you are but now the grave here has no fence so we'll throw the fence on here And then what we'll do is fix it. And booyah. That's now zero. That means our quality is now level five. We could stop if we wanted to because we did our goal. But we're not lazy like that. These people are dead. We need to take care of them. There we go. We'll just add a new fence to this one because I'm getting tired of fixing stuff, even though there's only one more to fix. Alright. And that's it set up. No gray fence. Click the plus. Here we go. Now I've taken all the wooden crosses that weren't required, got rid of them, and have replaced them with the stone, like I said, and then just basically re-upped on the wooden gray fences because of what we have available at the time. So now we have a quality of 11. Not bad. Not bad. So now all I gotta do is wait for tomorrow and we can talk to the bishop. If I didn't have that spot dug right there, it would be a 13. But alas, I made mistakes and I dug it. So, this game isn't that hard once you understand the systems behind it. And then, of course, like I said earlier, it doesn't save anything until you sleep. So make sure you sleep, otherwise all that progress we just made and the last time I slept would be gone. Have to do it all over again. But that being said, guys, I thank you so much for watching this. Here's just a small cu like couple tips with what I've learned and about the graveyard itself to help you improve your graveyard so you can move on to the next step, which is the church. So take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.